next time you go to your teacher's room in your school, watch your colleagues. <laughs> Wonder what sort of chimpanzee that colleague is. <laughs> There was a troop of chimpanzees and the old female, she was very intelligent, she was very wise, she led the troop. And one day, a young female got hold of, in the camp of the people who were watching the chimpanzees, got hold of the oil cans. They were all tied down so the chimps wouldn't steal them. But this chimp managed to detach one end and ran through the forest, dragging the oil cans. They made such a noise that all the troop followed her in future. They thought, oh, here, we're going to have fun with this one. Yes! Until she would lead them to not success, and then maybe they would follow somebody else. Interesting. I was telling some of you earlier on that I put a panda here. Because if there's a panda between you and your learners, they can't hate you. It's soft, it's friendly, it's kindly. And I was working with businessmen in Frankfurt, and Panda was there for a week. I never looked at Panda, I never spoke to Panda, Panda never spoke to me. And <laughs> it was just there. But as the businessmen came in the room, they became a little more playful. I think until you can bring the child in the teenager or the adult, bring the child out to play, I don't think they can learn so well. And at the end of the week, I had nothing to clean the board with, so I picked up Panda and went to the board, and the businessmen said, No! <laughs> They'd given it something. Rapport. Naturally, I think we want to build rapport. When I, go, when I go shopping in a supermarket, it's remarkable how cooperative people are. Oh, sorry, excuse me, here we go. Uh, we don't compete, we help each other. Rapport is natural. And I was working in Palestine, and I said to the teachers, I don't understand. When I go to your homes, you're very hospitable, you respect the kids in the, in the homes, and you're very friendly. But when I go to a school, the teachers stand there looking at the pupils, the pupils stand there looking at the teachers. There's not a welcoming, there's not hospitality. Come in, sit down. I said, why? Your natural culture is welcoming to children, enjoying children, is being hospitable. Why? I asked maybe 20 teachers. At last, I asked an old teacher, very old teacher. He said, the British controlled Palestine. So, <laughs> the British said to us, you're nothing. Colonial subjects. And they looked down on us. They didn't respect us. And we've taken that pattern. We think that is what teaching is, because that's how the British started the school. <laughs> and I had a friend who went to teach in Africa, British friend. And the African pupils came into the classroom on their knees. And he thought, this must be a local custom. I must respect the custom. But after about two weeks, he said, excuse me, but do you come on your knees into your houses at home? No. But why do you come in on your knees? They said, the previous teacher told us to. Think of how you are in your home, in your own house. Think of how you, your face is, your body is, when you welcome your friends into your own house. Try a little bit of that in the classroom for rapport. Can you thank your partner for having such good rapport with you? <laughs> thank you for your rapport with me. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.
announcing the party? Are you announcing the party? Yes. Please do. So, thank you very much, Jim. <clears throat> Uh, I can't say that I lost my cherry during his presentation, <laughs> but uh, the cherry's on top. Thank you very much. It was, it was a pleasure. My question, Jim, is how do I manage to build up the energy in this group of people so that the party has party kind of energy? Have a, give a suggestion for that. Party! Party. <laughs> party time. <laughs> For those of you who are staying, the party begins at 6. It's called Fiesta Latina. And the, it's up on the third floor, so up above where the book exhibition is and will be tomorrow. And we'll be beginning with a cocktail, a Brazilian cocktail, Caipirinha. There'll be some Peruvian music. And we have a Dominican woman who's coming to do some salsa dancing. Some more... Um, Peruvian music and some Brazilian, little Brazilian specialties and some Valaison wine. So that's what you have to look forward to from 6 to 9 this evening. We're starting at 6. We, we still need a few minutes to get things ready. So that's happening upstairs on the third floor. For those of you who are leaving and not coming back tomorrow, I have a favor to ask of you. In your folders, there's a form that says Feedback Global. Uh, Algemeine feedback. And, and I would like you to take just a minute or two or three, it won't take you long, and complete that form before you leave. Uh, and you can leave it on the table there, we'll, we'll pick it up for you. So, and if you're not coming back, if you're leaving and you're not coming back, thank you so much for being here today. It was a real pleasure to have you here. We, in English, we have an expression to err is human, to forgive is divine. So I thank you for being divine. It wasn't perfect, I wasn't perfect, but you were very, very understanding and, and I, I really found that you um, did a wonderful job of participating and, and having a positive attitude. For those of you who are coming back tomorrow and not coming to the party, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Uh, starting from 8.30 to 9.30, it's the same, same schedule as today, it's check-in time. And then we'll begin with a little session here from 9.30 to 9.45 and then we get started directly with the workshops tomorrow. And we end the day with a last plenary presentation in French, en français. Donc on a commencé en allemand, cerise sur le gâteau en anglais ce soir, et une deuxième cerise sur le gâteau en français demain en fin de journée. Et après ça, tirage de, 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 des cadeaux de, pour le, le tombola. Et puis voilà. Donc euh, bonne soirée et à bientôt.